Hi everyone, it's Steve here from the Cambridge Wine Academy. Uh, today I'm going to be tasting Vino Bosconia 2006 uh, Reserva. Uh, it's available from Cambridge Wine Merchants. Uh, it's 26.99 uh, normally, uh, but it's 24.54 uh, if you buy it as part of a, a mixed case. Um, so it's a classic um, uh, wine from uh, one of the great wine regions of the world. Um, this particular winery I visited a few years ago and had a, an amazing experience. It's really one of those kind of, you know, bucket list kind of wineries that you have to visit. Uh, it's uh, in Aro, which is in the, in this, you know, the, one of the, uh, the old towns in, in the Rioja region. Uh, all the great um, bodegas and wineries, are, most of them anyway, are there. And um, it's, it's, it's one of the oldest um, and um, one of the most traditional. And, uh, you know, if you get a chance to go there, definitely um, worth having a guided tour. They'll take you into the winery and then down into the, the cellars, the, the dark labyrinth, the maze of, of tunnels that go under the, under the mountain, which are lined with um, hundreds, probably thousands of oak barrels. And, um, you know, the, the ceilings are draped in spider's webs. Uh, it's very kind of eerie, very spooky. Uh, some uh, some uh, secret rooms in there as well, which uh, all adds up to quite a, quite a great experience. So, um, you know, the wines are very traditional. They do a, an incredibly old school white wine at Gravonia. They, they do another uh, uh, fantastic uh, single vineyard. Uh, uh, red wine, Vina Tondonia. Um, so the Bosconia, it's named after the uh, Bosque Vineyard um, and it's up there in Vioca, Rioja Alta. Um, and it's, you know, it's it's one of the finest vineyards in in the region. Uh, so it's, um, you know, the grapes here, we've got some, temp we've got Tempranillo, which is the the main grape variety of the Rioja regions, around about 80%, I think. 15% uh, Garnacha uh, Tinto and then a bit of Mazuelo, which is Carignan, and uh, some uh, Graziano. So, you know, it's a, it's a kind of typical uh, Rioja uh, mix. It spent uh, kind of five years in, a, in an oak barrel, sleeping under the mountain, shall we say, and it's been released. Uh, and, you know, it, it is a wine that's continuing to, to develop in the bottle. So uh, having a look at it, um, yeah, I'm sort of noticing, tilting it away from me, that it's showing signs of uh, the colour changing towards kind of a garnet, brick red colour at the rim. And it's fairly pale if I move my finger down there from the, uh, the rim of the glass to the, to the deepest part, I can still see my finger. So yeah, it's, it's kind of quite pale. Uh, it's lost, lost colour, which red wines do as they get older. Um, on the nose, it's quite, well, it's an intense, intense nose, uh, certainly not fruity, uh, it's, it's more spicy, earthy, um, you've got their um, kind of elements of uh, dried fruit, uh, I think, I think prune, um, you know, raisin, uh, you know, and also this tobacco leafy characteristic that you find uh, with older wines, there's some vanilla in there. Um, and it, all in all, it's it's a very complex nose with lots of different notes, and uh, it's certainly showing uh, development and uh, uh, intriguing. So I'm going to give it a taste. And what uh, strikes me, I mean, I'm talking to you. I'm, my mouth is is watering um, a lot and that's the the incredible freshness that you get from the wines of this um of this bodega um really really mouth watering tingling fresh acidity that's the uh, you know that's the kind of quality of the grapes from the the particular the vineyard up there quite high up actually maintaining that acidity but you've also got incredible ripeness because these are wines which are produced or made to age and they they're, they're built to last the course of time so we have some some tannin there um kind of soft actually because it's it's the tannins have softened uh, over time a little bit of 
bite though, a little bit of grip on my tongue, which, and it's a, it's kind of hint of astringency, which I actually really quite like. So it's, it's pleasing. It's uh, and it's, it kind of walks a tightrope and it, but it, it, it gets it right. If you know what I mean, it's uh, there's a tension in this wine, uh, which I like. Um, structurally it's, it's superb. You know, it's very, very, very well balanced and um, medium bodied at most, I think 13 uh, percent alcohol. So, then you know the sign of a great wine is how long uh, the aftertaste lasts for the positive uh, flavors and this one ten yes this one goes on and on uh, it's it's balanced it's intense it's complex and uh, <clears throat> very pleasing uh, so you know it's it's it wouldn't be to everybody's taste let's put it that way um, it, it, you know as I said it's more kind of more towards that earthy leathery spicy character but that's typical of of the wines of this bodega and for the more traditional styles of Rioja, which, you know, I tend to, well, I do love. So I would thoroughly recommend it. As I said, from Cambridge Wine Merchants, uh, it's um, it's 26.99 uh, if you buy it um, just as a bottle, uh, but uh, it comes down as part of a mixed case. So uh, if you, if you uh, fancy something, a real uh, treat, um, then I would recommend uh, buying a bottle of this wine. It's superb. Okay, everybody. See you again soon.